What's going on guys? It's been a long time since I've seen you. We are headed down to the Lego room right now because we have some big announcements and we just need to jump right into it. So let's go on in. Okay, brace yourselves because you are about to see some absolute chaos in the Lego city. There's a reason why and I'll cover that later in the video, but oh man, I'm kind of like scared to show you the room right now. Um, but anyway, here it is. Was that too quick? All right, we'll dive in more in a second, but First, let me explain what's going on. Okay, so what's going on? Well, as you guys know, we moved to a new home in April of this year, and we had to move the entire LEGO city from our old studio back at our old place. And in doing so, our city actually tripled in size, and it's been quite a daunting task getting everything organized and reset up. The problem is, and something that we didn't really account for, was just how big the city is. And I know that, that may sound like a benefit, but when you're trying to rebuild everything and trying to get organized, having such a massive city it has honestly been a huge headache for a number of reasons. If you recall in our old Lego city, it was really just two tables wide with the Alex drawers up front that created the beach, and we had a really nice cityscape. This allowed for depth, but it wasn't so massive where it was impossible to reach the back. We could actually reach the back just by leaning over, and it was really easy to make you know, upgrades to the city, work on street improvements, and overall just maintain a more sophisticated looking layout. Fast forward to the current city, and the problem is it is so big and stretches so far back that we have to crawl under the tables each time. And when you're you know, running out of pieces or if you forget a piece, it's just a huge hassle to go back and forth to really work on the city. Not to mention this whole thing was set up in a garage because that was the only space for it in the new home. And while it's great because it offers a lot of space and it was you know, remodeled and it has nice finishes, the problem is in California in the summer, it gets ridiculously hot. So it has been sweltering to work in the garage and work on the city this whole summer. Not to mention we've been doing a lot of travel and hanging out with friends, you know, kind of just getting back to normal life post COVID. So the city really hasn't gotten much of an update. Luckily, we were able to finish our airport, which if you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it up above. And that was one highlight that we finished this summer and really added to the city. Really brought, you know, a whole new level of uh, Lego build to the city. And we were really excited with how it turned out. But shifting back to the city itself, and here is now a live look at what it really looks like right now. You can see that while some progress has been made, there's a lot of chaos going on. And it's really, you know, it hasn't had much updates since our last city update. So let me walk you through kind of what's going on down here because uh, it's all about to change. Okay, so starting down at this end, we did a video recently that showed you guys how we're reorganizing the storage wall. MSAFOL TV has been hard at work getting everything organized, even though it may not look like it. A lot of this is just overflow and that'll all be cleared out in the future. Over here, we added a new gas station, and this really turned out well in our opinion, and we definitely like how it anchors down here. But that's really been the only change to the overall city over here in the last few months, which I know is crazy. Outside of adding a couple stickers here and there, like the hotel sign, um, we also added ones to the Waldorf, which if I zoom in here, you can see. We also added to our hospital a new sticker. But outside of that, it really hasn't changed much. We've done a couple you know, other upgrades like finishing the sidewalks and adding new traffic lights um, just with a better design that holds them up more upright. And we also added in our little crossing signals for the trains, which if you haven't seen yet, we did a full free video tutorial on our YouTube. So you know, make sure you check that one out. But again, I keep coming back to, we haven't done much because the city is just so big and it's impossible to really reach back there and get things done in a timely manner because every time we have to crawl all the way under, pop up in the back and work on it, which is just a huge pain in the rear. Not to mention with all the reorganizing of the bricks and going through excess inventory, uh, it's just starting to get really crowded because this walkway right here is so narrow that we really don't have a lot of space to work. And then if you head to the, all the chaos over here, which is still in part from the moving and breaking down old builds, as well as expanding the city over here, as you can see, you know, we were working on the train bridge and whatnot. There's just so much going on. And honestly, it feels a little overwhelming and it just seems like we can never really make any progress down here. Okay, so why am I telling you all this? Well, we have decided to break down the city and that does not include the brand new airport. We don't wanna to touch that because it's pretty much perfect even though it's kind of covered in crap right now that we're you know, working through and reorganizing. But the city behind me honestly just isn't working. It's been a failure since we've moved in 
It's just, it's too big and too wide to really work on and we need to change it. So we came up with a brand new layout for this room and we are gonna start breaking down this entire city, which really sucks because we just worked on doing all the new roads up front and making sure everything fit together and you know rebuilding stuff from the move that broke and really bringing everything back together. So all of that is pretty much for nothing and we're gonna have to restart, which really sucks. But what's really exciting about it is I think now with the new layout, and you know our members got to see a sneak preview of it a couple days ago. I'll link that up above if you're a member and you haven't seen it yet because you guys get to see the actual layout of what we have planned, which is really exciting. Um, but I think the new layout is gonna work really well as far as opening the room up. We're gonna have a lot more room to work on builds and make sure everything gets organized. And on top of that, it's gonna allow us to reach the back areas of the city, improve the roads, improve the overall layout of the buildings, and just allow for a lot more creative and unique builds coming in because truthfully creativity has been diminished since moving here it just hasn't sparked a lot of creativity being just overwhelmed with all of this and i think by mixing it up and changing some things uh, we're gonna be able to move forward in a much better and a lot quicker in the future uh, with more city update videos for you guys and look guys i know that in the past we've mentioned that there's some huge updates coming but this time there really are because we have been spending the last few weeks redesigning this whole room and i can't wait to show you guys what it's going to look like so be patient with us we need a couple weeks to get this all set up but we're hopefully going to do some time lapse videos and some other cool updates along the way to show you guys what we have in the works so thanks again for being a subscriber and following along on this awesome journey we will have some more updates for you soon i promise uh, and in the meantime feel free to binge watch all of our old videos to see where we've come from and maybe get a sense for where we're going thanks again for watching and we'll see you next video